sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just crying because Madden 22 is officially at its end. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No one ball. Now, I am sad that Madden 22 at its end. Every time something ends, something new begins, which means Madden 23 is around the corner, boys. And what we're going to do today, we're going to open up every single coin pack we can, we can as a last shebang essentially for Madden 22 um yeah no things i wanted to do i wanted to pull a golden ticket normal pack i technically did out of my weekend league rewards excuse me um i wanted to do back-to-back -back golden tickets and also i need to pull golden ticket michael vick what better way this is going to be my second to last Madden 22 video i have one more theme team i want to do in terms of Madden 22 and then we're going to be on to Madden 23 videos i told you guys i'll be riding it till the wheels fall off it's not falling off. We got one to the left. It's on the rim. We're squeaking, but we're going to make it happen. So hit the like, hit the sub button. Thank you all for Madden 22 support. We're going crazy in Madden 23. Like I said, man, we're opening up every coin pack. I don't know what's going to happen. I cleared out my binder. We're just opening up everything. Um, now, with us opening up everything, you guys are probably seeing this on Saturday, more than likely. Um, on uh, next Friday, I will be streaming. Um, by the time you guys see this, I probably am already streaming. But next Friday, we will be streaming. And we will be basically giving everything away to help you all who essentially have not completed rookie premieres. Be on the lookout for my Twitch, my Twitter, or excuse me, my Twitter, my TikTok. I will be essentially be posting when I will be doing that, which will be next Friday. I'm not entirely sure what the date is. I think it's the 12th. Because um, obviously, Mad 23 comes out, I believe, what? four days after that if you pre-order so last minute to get one of the rookie premieres um like I said, i'm gonna try to have upwards of like eight million coins obviously doing this pack opening is something i wanted to do as well last hurrah and like i said i want to leave no stone unturned i want to open up every single coin pack that i can um and see if we can pull you know essentially something and whatever if we pull we're just going to give it away we're not gonna if it's something of value a 99 or something of that nature we'll definitely just give it away we're not going to hold on to anything so Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Again, thank you so much for the Madden 22 ride. It was a crazy ride. Um, we weren't, we're not satisfied. Obviously, it was fantastic with the success that we have received on TikTok, on YouTube, on Twitch, on Twitter. Um, we've hit all, almost all of our Madden, or Madden or all of our goals for you know us content creating for this year already. So, man, I want to thank you guys so much for the bottom of my heart. And this is me giving back is essentially going to be, hey, Rookie Premieres, if you need help, let me know down, you know, and when we do the Twitch stream. And also, it's going to be a whole stream dedicated to helping those with their Rookie Premieres. Um, essentially, a whole stream. So, we get a couple 92s. So we haven't got a 92 and a 96 in these packs. So, this is going to be like a 3 million coin pack opening or something of that nature. So, um, afterwards, you know, we'll just quick sell stuff and we'll re-roll it and, you know, we'll try to recoup some coins. Like I said, about time next Friday come, I want to have about, about 10 million that I can essentially, you know, get back to you guys to help you complete rookie premieres because they are a bit expensive. Um, like I said, I told you guys, um, as I'm getting into the wrong pass, I told you guys we'll be doing Madden 22 videos until the wheels fall off. And it's basically falling off. It's the end. Um, about time you guys are seeing this, like I said, on Saturday, the 6th of August. Um, obviously, this week we've seen a plethora of videos. And what I'm going to do is next week, um, leading up to about a week leading up to Madden 23, is when I'm going to start dropping my Madden 23 tip videos and all that different stuff. I didn't want to do it three weeks ahead of time. And then the game comes out three weeks later. People forget it. I want to do it when it's fresh in people's mind. A week out to me is pretty fresh in people's mind in terms of the game coming out. Um, this packs actually wasn't that bad. I usually don't open up these eighty thousand dollar packs, but they haven't been that bad. Um, we've gotten a ninety five, we've gotten a ninety six, a couple of ninety two. So um, after this, we're gonna go on to the big boys. So um, in terms of the big legend fantasy pack, like I said, I'm pro probably gonna try to show as much of this as possible. Like I said, we still have the ultimate legend fantasy packs, elite player packs, all pro fantasy packs, and game changer. All those we're opening up every single coin pack that we can. And we might end off with like 10 pro fantasy packs or something like that. But we're going to open up everything. Um, I want to be zero coin packs left in my Madden 22 essentially store. That's what I want. And look, maybe if I pull a golden ticket along the way, who's going to complain about it? I know. I'm sure not. How excited are you for Madden 23? Obviously, we've seen, like I said, by this time, you guys seen the reviews. Uh, not the reviews. You've seen the core leads. You've seen the first program headliners. Like I said, you guys are probably seeing Xerxes, CC, Gut Fox. All the boys, guy, the big guys talk about it. You know, my boy Joe talk about it. I am going to wait until next week to break it down because I want to do a deep dive. Like I said, this year, I want to be more 
informational to you guys. Obviously, last year I made coins, um, and you guys watched me make coins. But I want to give you guys and present you guys with the best, you know, path to be great as you get a second 96 Mike Pouncy from day one. Um, that's essentially what I want to do. So I'm going to do a deep dive. I'm, I basically kind of have a mindset on what I'm going to do. I'm either going to go two ways, like build a super team right away um, with my no money spent. Obviously, Broncos theme team will still have that. Or, you know, rookie premiere, sell them. You know, like I said, I'll, I will essentially make a video on my plan of attack. I have two plans of attack, and it's basically going to be on how the market reacts, essentially. So you get a 94 in the first round. Okay, look, I, I don't even, I'm looking for big reduxes. I'm looking for golden tickets. I'm looking for double rings here. I will take 97 and 93. Okay, we will take rookie premieres because uh, we are doing a little something, something with that, you know? Um, wink, wink. I'm pretty sure most of y'all know what that is, um, if I'm saying wink, wink. <laughs> but that was dope. 97 and a 93. Um, I, I just was reminded again today, which obviously I was one of the first ones to do so, that you can pull the full 99 rookie premieres. I completely forgot that you can do that because it's been so rare. Um, I think I've only seen one. It was one that I posted on my TikTok. So um, let's get a double 90 there, which isn't bad. But like I said, Born Your Barrage Man 22, um, for me, compared to other games, was it great? Was it not? Um, it's a mixed bag for me because I started on next on current gen. Excuse me, I started on next gen, was banned, went to current gen for most of the year, and then been on next gen for the, about the last two months. So that's why I'm actually still like kind of enjoying playing the game or can play the game, unlike others, because I haven't been playing it all year and I can completely understand. Oh, Derrick Henry, I say this. I can completely understand how some people would be sick of the game. Because um, the game, ooh, to say it has its faults, its faults is putting it nicely. Because uh, the game can be absolutely trash at times. Absolutely trash. Um, but that's what we signed up for. We can hope that Man 22 is going to be better. Or Man 23 is going to be better, excuse me. But uh, look, man, we all know. <laughs> if you... If you what do they say? If you know, you know. Another 93. We'll take that. Allen Robinson. Speaking of Allen Robinson, I was making an argument today that Allen Robinson is the best number two receiver in the league. What do you think about that? If you're at this point in the video, you tell me what you think about that. Allen Robinson being the best number two receiver in the league. I think he has a case. I think he has a case. Because, um, I mean, look, he probably could be a number one on a lot of teams, to be honest. But for the Rams, he's number two. So I think that's going to bode well, extremely good for him because he's not going to worry about getting the best corner. 98 Rodney Harrison. Okay, 95 Brian McKinney. Flashback. 90. Okay, well, that's like the 98, 95. All right, Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. Boy, my coins are dwindling down quickly. Um, you're probably like, Truth, how are you going to help us? But don't worry. You know your boy always got a plan. I always got a plan to make stuff happen. I don't leave y'all out and about. Like I said, we definitely would be up close to like $8 million, I promise you. I, You have my, hey, look at me. Look at me. I got you. I promise. Um, I got stuff in the binder. And we're going to do an Ultimate Legend packs and not put Ultimate Legends. Those are my favorite packs. Absolute favorite packs. Like I said, we're probably going to end up down close to like 25 something million um about time we get done with all this probably maybe close to two million i remember the last time in this game that i was down to two million coins but like i said it's all good we, we'll definitely we'll get back up don't y'all i promise y'all don't y'all worry we will definitely get back up without a shot of a doubt now there's probably some power-ups i'm missing that are expensive but at this game i'm not coin chasing i'm basically just taking the highest overalls and then i'll do what i do with those now, what I could be doing, though, is all the 91s, and this is kind of let you know how I'm going to make some of my coins back and help you guys back out. All the 91s, I'm going to put into exchange the 93 to 94 exchange set, because I can either pull Rookie Premiers, guaranteed 60K, or 94 um, Sugar Rush Player, guaranteed 200K. So, 97 CD Lamb in the first round. That is probably my best first round of the year. No cap. That is probably my best first round of your 97 CD Lamb, which is expensive because he goes into the sets, right? I haven't done the Ricky Premier sets in that long. Hey, 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 that's helping y'all out. That's really helping y'all out. So 97 CD Lamb, which speaking of CD Lamb and the Cowboys, Trayvon Diggs has been getting roasted in a training camp. Um, let's get in, let's go game changers next. Let's go let's switch it up. Let's go game changers, but uh, hey, I've said this in my streams many times. Trayvon Diggs, great athlete. He's an athlete who's played corner, not a corner who's an athlete. For example, people always try to compare him and Patrick Sertan because they both went to Alabama, 
And as an Alabama fan who watched them, you know, for three years separately, or three years and four years, excuse me, one's an athlete who's a corner, and one's a corner who's an athlete. You can probably guess which is which. Um, you know, obviously, um, Patrick Tate had a fantastic rookie year. Um, Trayvon Diggs had a lot of picks, but I implore you to actually go watch a YouTube video that breaks down Trayvon Diggs, all of his picks. And there's all, actually about two or three picks that he only made a great play on. A lot of the other picks just fell into his lap. You know, um, I just don't feel like you can be a great corner giving up a thousand yards. But, you know, we're not here to bash on Trayvon. You know, I hope he does well. Roll Tide. We are here to try to pull something out of these packs, which, look, we've gotten a little something, something. We've got, what, a nine, couple of 96s, a 97, a couple of 97s, a 98. It hasn't been all bad, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? It hasn't been, like, god-awful. You feel me? Obviously, we, we hope for better, you know, but it just hasn't happened as of yet. We still got a lot of packs and a lot of coins to waste um, before we kind of call it quits here. Like I said, we actually will be under 1 million. I'm just calculating in my head because the all pros are 620K and the elite packs are 480. So this will be the first time in like probably since the beginning of Christmas, right? In December that I'll be under 2 million coins on my no money spin account. Wow. Wow. But like I said, we're, all, we're basically all going to give away next Friday. Like I said, don't worry. I'm going to have announcements throughout the week. Basically, if you need help, tune into the Twitch stream. Um, and we will help you out the best of our abilities. We may be only to hook up like one person, you know, give them like 500 K or something like that. Hopefully they can do something with that. But you know, if you haven't done the exchange sets, that'll get you like a gold 99 draft player and that'll get you 10 rookie premieres, essentially a rookie premier. So, um, like I said, we're just going to try to help out as much as we can. I do want to keep some coins over here. Um, cause like I did this year, um, I did it on stream. I, I'll go back and do like flashback pack openings. Um, especially like, let's say next year in Madden 23, we get training variety packs. I can do a video, say which training variety packs are better, um, Madden 2023 or Madden 2022. So that's definitely something we could do. Let me hydrate real quick. That's usually safe for streaming when it comes to hydration, but you know, your boy's feeling a little bit parched. So, um, like I, said, I don't know how much of this you guys are going to see. I'm going to try to make it as raw and unedited as possible, but I don't want to make a, you know. I guess it is the last pack opening of the year, so we're you're trying to, going to try to make it as raw and unedited as possible. Um, like I said, this is going to be like a three million. I started off with about five point seven, and this is going to be a three million coin pack opening. And like I said, I'm not going to gauge if I made anything back. I, obviously, I think I'm going to make about half back, right? Just because I've been marketed ninety five. Okay, ninety fives are good. Ninety fives are super good. Yeah, they're super good. So like even. Keeping some of those, you know, for people who haven't done exchange sets and just exchanging them over. All right, so we're done with the game changers. Next, we're on to the, let's go elite player packs. Elite, or elite packs is what they're called. They're not called elite player packs anymore. Um, let's go to elite packs, and then, you know, we'll get into probably the all pros after that. And, you know, I got to in on some pro fantasies. I just have to, even if it's 10 of those things. I just got, I got to, on the pack that basically made my channel what it is today, um, you know, I got to show them love. I was going to do one last 1 million pro fantasy pack opening, but obviously it's not coming to fruition. Just didn't line up with my schedule and what I needed to do. Um, 90 is our best out of that elite pack. Yikes. You don't want to see that. Um, I don't even know what the, is it? Yeah, it's a guaranteed 90. Okay. So it's a guaranteed 90. All right. We're good with that. Um, like I said, most of this stuff is going to get quick. So most 91s and 92s, like I said, I'm going to put into the... Okay, 92. Thank God. I was glad we didn't get 90. I'm going to put into the exchange set, which you guys won't see. This is all stuff I'll do off stream, just chilling by myself um, and make sure I have, you know, the ample in terms of coins and stuff to help you guys. Funny thing is, you know, most people, when they see me on stream, you know, like I said, because this is going to be happening. You're probably going to be watching this during my stream um, or before I stream. And then people are going to pop in my stream. Oh, what happened to your coins? And I'm like, I did a three million coin pack opening. Just... It was on a whim. It was honestly on a whim. I planned. I like. I, said, I got one more thing, team. I plan to do um, because it's one that I have already custom built. I don't have to chase anyone or anything of that nature. It's one I have built. And it'll kind of be my last gameplay um, of the year, and then you know we'll, we'll move on from that. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We have these elite player packs haven't given us nothing spicy. They really haven't given us nothing super spicy as of yet, which is unfortunate. You know, because we we like the spicy. Um, so far, I would absolutely have to say the Elite Player Packs have been the most disappointing. Um, I don't think we've got anything over a 92, maybe a 94. Maybe this would be it. Not nah, because 98 Joe Hayden. Don't mind that, though. 91 Randy Bullock cannot be our high card, and it is. 
yeah, elite player packs, they've uh, really let me down. Um, if I'm being honest, they really have let me down. Um, I, ex I expect more out of them. I actually like those in terms of value um, because they're 48K and all you need is like a 93, 94 and you make your coins back. But at the same time, at the same time with all the other stuff you get out of it, you should, you know, scrap, scrape up the difference. But, you know, my elite player packs are built different. I understand. You know what I'm doing? I'm saving on my pack luck for Madden 23. I get it. I, I completely understand. I completely understand. Like 90, 92, that's, that's okay. But I'm saving my pack luck for Madden 23. It makes sense. Like, wow, why didn't I think of this? Like, this is actually a smart move to do, y'all. Open up all these packs. Waste the bad juju. August 16 come. Go crazy. Make coins. Be a millionaire before September. We got it planned out. We got it planned out. All right. All pro packs. All pro packs are next. All, now, these have been hit or miss, but mostly good. If you were watching the pack battles I had um, for a little while, all pro packs were literally doing a little bit of work for us. They were doing a little bit of work. Now, this second round is where you essentially make a break, and we got broken in the second round. We got absolutely broken. Unless the third round can kind of pick it up. Okay. 95 Justin Britt. That, that, hey, 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 hey. That, that's a pickup. That, that's what you call a pickup, for sure. For sure, that's what you call a pickup. Let's get into the next one. We got nine more left. Um, and then, yeah, we'll end it off on Pro Fantasy Packs. And then we'll get y'all out of here. Um, and wish y'all, you know, a merry August two-week eve to Madden 23. You know what I mean? So that's what we'll do. Let's get it cracking. Let's get it popping. Um, y'all know what I'm going to say. It's August and we still can't pull a bonus player. And that was a terrible pack. Play, I actually, you know what? I, I don't want anything from that from that pack to touch my binder because it was that bad. So we're just gonna, you know, what I mean, we're just gonna exit exit that um, straight up like that. I don't want anything out of that pack to even remotely touch my binder. So we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it at all. Um, and see, that's why you do it. You wipe the bad juju away, right? And then you bring the good juju. Ninety four. Leron Landry in the first round. That's my best first round out of a pro fantasy. 91, 87, 91. Okay. And then 94. Wow. How was my third round my worst pack? Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Literally the third round of an all pro pack was my worst pack. Or worst um, card out of the pack in terms of a round. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's Madden for you and what they provide you. Don't you feel appreciated? Luckily, there's no fan appreciation packs. I really would feel appreciated. Do y'all hear the sarcasm in my voice? You do? 89 Divide and Diablo, which he is an outside linebacker in Madden 23. This could be huge. I'm still going to take him. But that could have been way bigger than a 90, bro. That could have been way bigger than a 90, which is crazy. That was our, out of all the packs we've opened, that was our very first Sugar Rush car. We've opened 80, we've opened up what? 2.4, almost 3 million worth, almost 4 million worth in packs. And that is our first Sugar Rush car. Wow. I would say, you know, don't open up packs, but <laughs> it's the end of the game. Who cares? Um, 93 Reggie Wayne. So open up whatever the hell you want, because I sure am. I sure in the hell am. What do we got? Like four more packs left? FOMO? FOMO? Five more. Five more of those things. All pro packs has kind of let me down. The first one was a 95, but since that point, it's been a steadily decline. I mean, we did get the, what, 94 in the first round. We do get an 88 and 87 in the first round. 94 in the second. Okay, they just need a little bit bash. Now, again, this could be huge. Someone get Liam off my screen. Ooh. I think Liam's more valuable if I sell him. Liam's definitely, he's like 40K if I sell him. Which, like I said, I will be going back and definitely selling most of those. Um, but man, two Sugar Rush players, both 90s. Like, do y'all know how rare a 96 is? There's a reason they go for like 300K, bro. Look at this, chat. We are, be we are below poverty. Hmm. This is terrible. I don't remember the last time we were below 2 million coins. I feel naked. 
which is crazy because at the beginning of Madden 23, I'm going to be at zero coins. The ground's going to start over. Don't you find it crazy? We all play this game all year, and then we just basically start over. Like, that's the cycle we go through. Or even better cycle that we go through. June of a Madden cycle, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his golden ticket being crap. And then August, we talk about his 83 overall being, you know, a good budget option. <laughs> The Madden cycle. Don't we all love it? Yes, we do. I can answer that question for every single one of us. If we didn't love it, we wouldn't be playing the game. Okay, 89, 89, 85. Heavyweight. Veteran. Give me another wild card Wednesday. Wow, the wild card Wednesday last round. Crazy. That is crazy. I was literally about to say, give me another wild card Wednesday card, and they ended up doing it. That's wild. That's wild. So we've gotten one pack where the last round was our worst pack. And we've gotten one pack where we got a wild card Wednesday last round. And it was a good wild card Wednesday, 89 to 93 to 95. That's crazy. I haven't seen that yet in any pack where there's one specific. This could be huge. 90, hey, we take 95s. That's like 100K. Yes, sir, indeed. We will definitely take those. And like I said, more than likely what I'm going to do with that and all the draft cards I keep is just keep them, or I can sell them, if, you know, and give you guys coins if you prefer to do that. But because a lot of people probably would have done the sets by now, in terms of you know the draft sets, the 95s, the 97s, stuff like that. Um, so I may sell them, just recoup as much coins as possible, um, and then yeah, just give you guys the coins. That's essentially what we're gonna look at. But boy, we are looking broke. Oh my goodness, one point. I don't know if I like being this broke, which is, like I said, which is funny because I'm going to be way broken than this. Oh, we went backwards. 95 Tyreek Hill, who got a golden ticket. Speaking of that, Brandon Marshall should have been the middle linebacker golden ticket. Whoever made Tyreek Hill middle linebacker, I despise you. It should have been Brandon Marshall. That would have given me a great use of the Broncos team. team. Just want to, you know, share that out there. Okay, so we're at, let's just make sure. Zero coins. Zero coins, zero coins, zero remaining, zero remaining, zero remaining, zero remaining. Okay. Let's end it with the big boys. As you can see, I got training up there. We will be live twitch.tv slash the real truth you dig ripping that. Um, we always start off by ripping training and then going into something completely different. So let's see what we can do. If, bro, do not tell me. I was going to say, do not tell me we get the best freaking sugar rush pool out of a uh pro fantasy pack which you know would have been kind of fitting um it would be fitting if we pull the best card of the entire you know opening in the pro fantasy pack which technically the t best card right now is 97 cd lamb that we pulled like in terms of value that would be the best card i think we pulled a 98 um what was it rodney harrison out of the ultimate legend fantasy packs but in terms of value it definitely belongs to mr cd lamb because you know he goes into rookie premieres and stuff like that i don't know if i'll open up 10 of these um if they're dry i'm not going to continue to open up because we are like i said approaching 20 something minutes and i want to keep this kind of under 25 minutes um so we got i'll give you two more packs we'll give you two more packs of pro fantasy packs if they're good they'll continue if not we will call it short um and this first pack is not a good start whatsoever and it is not a good start okay let's uh we got one more so i'm gonna say this hopefully you guys did enjoy this again thank you so much for madden 22 man y'all have no idea how internally grateful i am for madden 22 and the support you guys showing and i'm it, like it's only motivated me to do more in madden 23 and i feel like i can whether it's youtube streaming tiktok all that i believe I, there's a level in a gear i haven't reached yet that i can take it to so i'm definitely gonna try to do that last pro fantasy pack unless nah that's not good enough hopefully you guys did enjoy like i said one more madden 22 video and then we're on a madden 23 i got a bunch of madden 23 videos planned up for lunch i'm probably gonna do it every day up until lunch for like seven days straight because i got a bunch of videos i want to do i appreciate you boys i'm signing out with that maha salute deuces